Hey guys, it's Patrick Stover. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing to you a makeup tutorial featuring a dramatic wing liner and red lip. This tutorial I have done at the very beginning of my channel when I first started YouTube, but I thought I would bring it back. Not only is this look special to me, it's a very classic look that I feel anyone can do. I know we have been wearing masks during this time, but I feel like this is the time we should be creative. This is the time we should be practicing our looks, having fun, experimenting with makeup, and just trying new things because I've been cooped up in the house for too long. Although we have nowhere really to go or people to see right now, I think it's the perfect time to be creative while we have the time. Before we begin, I will say this video, my dramatic wing liner and red lip changed my life. To me, it seemed like it was yesterday, but to most of you, if not all of you, it seems like years ago, which it actually was. Once upon a time in real life, there was a beautiful angel named Talia Joy, who was an amazing young entrepreneur, makeup artist, YouTuber, and she was loved by millions of people, including Ellen DeGeneres and the whole YouTube beauty community and YouTube community as a whole. She inspired me to start my channel. I had met her right before she had passed from cancer. This video was one of the last videos that she liked before she passed. I wanna bring this video to not only commemorate her, but to just have this full tr circle journey and thank Talia for watching and changing my life because a lot of the products that I will be using today are from my brand, but if it had not been from her and all of these eyes seeing my channel and being inspired by her, I don't think I would have been here today with that as an inspiration. She really taught the world that makeup can be for anyone. To her, she was so confident. Her mantra was, was makeup is my wig. And so with that, my mantra then became makeup is a one size fits all, which brings me to my brand one size. So with that being said, I hope you guys are able to take away, be inspired to create. And I just want you guys to know with every video that I make here on my channel, I love you, I support you, I believe in you, and I hope you guys take away something from anything that I do here on my channel or on social media to create a positive impact in your life or somebody else's to be kinder, to be happier, to be more joyful, because that's what makeup does to me in my heart and my soul. So without further ado, if you guys wanna see how I do this beautiful dramatic wing eyeliner and red lip, then keep on watching. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start with these Secure the Blur under eye patches. These patches are so good. Snatch them now. They literally snatch my eye as well, my under eye. These Hydrate Blur and Prime. So I'm gonna leave them on as I jump into my brows. If you guys wanna check these out, I'm linking everything down in the description box below. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and take the benefit fit precisely my brow in the shade number four and draw a fierce long brow. I'm gonna go a little bit more bold with the brow and I feel like it's gonna look a little bit more crazy because I'm gonna go for a more dramatic snatched wing with my very, very large lashes. I really want that same look that I recreated back in the Dizzy. So for the past couple of months during quarantine, I feel like I've been in a creative rut, but I really looked down on my channel and really thought about what I want my channel to be and I really wanna teach you guys how to be confident how to support you, how to encourage you guys to be your authentic selves. And to me, that's with makeup. Similar to how I did when I did this video, really be just carefree and just showing you guys how to apply this. So just know, be bold, own it, and you know, just trust the process. Okay, so these eye patches have been sitting on my face for a very long time now. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them, rub the juices in, and I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my brows. All right guys, as you can see, I did my eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Dose of Colors Concealer and use this as an eye primer on my eyelids as well. All right, so since I want a dramatic wing, I don't wanna do too much in the crease just to simply define it with some neutral colors. I'm gonna go ahead and take Mango and then take Taupe of My Game, which is a beautiful color for this look. It's a beautiful cool tone neutral shade and I pop that in the crease with my KKW brush, which is one of my absolute favorite brushes to use for the crease. I'm filming. Say hello to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take Manila Sands and I wanna keep it pretty matte on the lid, which is what I did in the original video. So take this and take it on a fancy flat brush and apply it on the lid. So before I do the eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and take my go off wipe, wipe off my concealer off my hands, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the under eye very gently and clean up that eye. 
Remember this look is all about the wing. So when it comes to makeup, do your makeup the way that you want to. You don't have to do the eyes first. I used to be a person where I just used to do the face first. Now I'm kind of in this vibe of where I do my eyes first and clean it up to get that sharp look. I'm gonna be jumping back and forth. So there's no right or wrong way to do your makeup. It's all a preference. Okay, now it's time to prep the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and take the brand new One Size Beauty face primer called Secure the Blur. If you guys haven't seen my last video, be sure to check that out. It includes details that you need to know about this primer and also the eye patches. They're both under the Secure the Blur family. I worked really hard on this. This primer is so amazing. This is the packaging. I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. Not too much. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this much and put it right here and blur these pores. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit on my nose and then some on this side of the face and work my way in. This literally is hydrating and literally super blurring on my skin. I've been using this for so long, if you guys didn't already know, and this literally snatches my foundation. So, so amazing. And it's translucent and it works on all skin types. And I feel my skin feels so yummy and ready for a full beat face. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, if y'all don't like a full beat face just because it's mask wearing season, we should be show so just shing and all the above. Definitely wear it if you just wanna wear a light powder foundation or a little bit of concealer. It's literally so, so good. Now, if you wanna be extra like me, you can definitely take your ultimate setting powder or any loose setting powder that you have. I love this one because it's also super blurring and micronized. And I'm just gonna go ahead and further set my primer, which is a trick that I like to do before doing my foundation. Now for foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Dior Air Flash foundation in the color 501. I love this. I know it's expensive, but it gives the most beautiful skin finish on the skin and it's so lightweight and full coverage one of my top favorites definitely check it out I like to spray it far away because it's not exactly ideal that it spreads out like this and I'm wearing a white shirt so yeah, one thing I would change about that. My setup feels like old school Patrick Star. If you guys didn't know, years ago, I used to take linoleum flooring from Home Depot. They sold it for like $50, $55 at Home Depot. It was about eight feet wide. It's the flooring for like these old, like 90s, 2000s bathrooms in your home. I'm sure you've seen it at maybe one of your relatives' homes. I know I had it in my home growing up. I would flip it backwards and I bought a backdrop stand. My, well, my dad got me one for my birthday when year and we just hung it and it was so heavy but it was literally the exact same color as my background there if you guys are looking for a background definitely something plain or using a hack like that is something that i use for <laughs> a few years on my channel do you guys see how smooth my skin is from the primer so good all right, I know the color may look a little bit off because I haven't highlighted, contoured, all that shebang. But in some areas right here where I feel like I want more durability and also in my smile lines, I'll go ahead and I'll take MAC Full Coverage Foundation and I'll just press that in on top, almost like a foundation concealer. I treat this one almost like a concealer because this is so creamy and full coverage. Love that for us. What would the Gen Z kids say about my skin? Have you seen that TikTok? Your skin is flawless, purr. No, they would be like, what would they say? It's the heavy makeup for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cake grease for me. It's the I'm about to make your check bounce for me. It's you just jealous because you don't have a one size affiliate discount code for me. It's the we've only been open for a whole year so we can't afford one for me. It's actually been six months for me. I'm ready. <laughs> it's the, we're a multi-million dollar brand for me. Period. <laughs> is it period or is it per? But like, in which context do you use per? In which context do you use period? Period. Anyways, I'm gonna take this Dose of Colors concealer for me and put this under the eyes and just blend until your heart's content. And just pass that in. So this is a little bit of a makeup pack. I should probably take this on TikTok. This is Aqua Seal by Makeup Forever. I've been using this for years. If your eyes involuntarily tear up, like how mine is here, you see how the eyeshadow is getting a little bit ruined. That can be fixed. I wanna take this a little bit on a Q-tip and run the Q-tip a little bit along the waterline and your eyes will stop tearing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right guys, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take my ultimate setting powder and take that on my beauty blender. I took my sifter off just because I like using this powder. I'm obsessed with it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and 
take this and stamp this under the eye. When I tell you this in combination with the primer and the powder is literally a combination for my full coverage, flawless, smooth skin. Look, so good. Now, if you like that extra extra, go ahead and take your puff and smack your skin on. Okay, now before I move on to the rest of the face, I'm gonna go ahead and move back to the eyes and slay that dramatic wing liner with the one size Point Made 24 hour liquid eyeliner. This is so waterproof. I'm glad that I added a little bit of that Aqua Seal for Makeup Forever. On my waterline, my eye had stopped watering and I feel like I have the right time to now snatch this dramatic wing. Now when it comes to doing the dramatic wing, you wanna go ahead and really be still with your hand. I'm gonna go ahead and start from my inner corner and short strokes go ahead and go out to the end of my eye and then once i get there i'm gonna go ahead and draw a little line up towards the tail of my brow bone and then i'm gonna flip my pen over go back and create a triangle going back towards my eye and then fill in those gaps in the little triangle that i sketched out slowly and slowly i'm gonna go ahead and perfect that wing liner and make sure that it's even with the other eye and work as you go and make sure whenever you're doing your wing liner, you always take a step back, look at both eyes. I think it's really important because sometimes we can be really fixated on just one eye. So make sure to work very slow, be patient, try not to be distracted, be in a good mood. And that should be it for your dramatic wing eyeliner. All right, guys, this is my wing. I took a long time perfecting it. Um, it's gonna look a lot better with the lashes. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes up to Jesus. And just be very careful, pinch them. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to lashes. Okay, so for the lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and take these gorgeous tarantulas called I've Arrived. They are so wispy, fluttery, cruelty, and vegan lashes and apply these on my beautiful wing liner. Yes! <laughs> look at this! So gorgeous. They may look super large, maybe chunky in the packaging, but once you see them with like little pieces of wispy peeking through your eyeshadow, it looks so pretty. Okay, my lashes are kind of like down and all, all around the place. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little neat contraption. I will link it down below. It's, it looks like a nail cutter. And I'm gonna go ahead and pinch my lashes so they like have a little bit of this push-up effect. I love using this also to pinch my lashes with the fake ones. Just be careful because they can snag on your lash with the glue. Okay, so I touched up my eyeliner a little bit after I curled it up, just so I make sure that it's a little bit even and I can see the big picture with the lashes. But look how jet black and so pigmented that is. And it's also waterproof. And I love how it looks with the beautiful neutral eyes. So this is definitely what I'm going for. Okay, so right here, I might take a little bit of footage to show you guys the before and after of what that little lash picture can do. I really think curling your lashes is really important. I know if you wear a smaller lash, it definitely fits in a normal lash color, but if you have long lashes like this, all the little hairs is pretty much like, like a track on a weave. It's not gonna fit in a traditional lash color. So I love that one because it's a little bit more open-ended than the traditional lash color right here. All right, you guys you know what's up. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Studio Fix powder in the color NW25 and start to shape my face. If you're into drag or dramatic makeup or transforming your features like contouring your nose or snatching your cheeks, highlighting is just as important as contouring. If you guys wanna have fun with it or have never tried drag makeup, definitely this is a part of that transformation. It's one of my favorite parts that doesn't get a lot of credit. All right, guys, if you know me, I'm on the hunt for a new bronzer. I have been saying this for 2021. I have yet to find it. This is my dark, deep powder. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and snatch my cheekbones. Again, calling all bronzer lovers out there, if you are similar or close to my skin tone and have any bronzer recommendations, please let me know in the comments below because I can't seem to find one that I like that sits on top of all of this powder. I'm not necessarily so, so picky about the color. I do love a warm bronzer, but I'm open to a, um, any, just as long as it works well on top of all of this cake. And make sure you go ahead and snatch your cheeks using the ultimate powder. And this is the ultimate puff, which has a straight edge to it. Literally is the best for cleaning up your face. Next, I'm gonna take what's left of my Broken Milani bronzer right here. This is what I like using for my nose because it's a very neutral, cool tone bronzer because I don't want 
my nose to be orange. I'm gonna take this and contour my nose. I feel like since I started my channel, I have learned so much about my face. And if you guys are starting or just watching and you still wanna learn how to perfect your nose contour, it literally takes time and getting used to because it's something that I feel is so different about your face. Cause if you think about it, the nose is smack dab in the middle of your face. So to contour your nose, you really have to get used to it and own it and just go for it. What I'm gonna do here is take the ultimate puff and I like to rebake because I like reinforcing my makeup because the last thing I wanna do is get greasy. <laughs> like I have anywhere to go. And next I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my favorite blushes by Patrick Talk called She's So LA. It's a beautiful, I know it looks like my skin tone. It has a hint of just like flesh in this blush. And I think it'll go super gorgeous with the red lip. So that's what I'm gonna take on my cheeks and blend this into my under eye highlight. And if you're wondering what this is up here, this is a cream side that looks really amazing on my brother Peter and also on men too. It's such a beautiful cream color if you want more of that natural fleshy look. Now, if you guys are into that extra oomph or that glam, or you're a huge fan of RuPaul's Drag Race, Charlotte Tilbury will get your face together for TV. This is literally a super micronized powder that I love to use under the eye. And it only comes in a very few amount of colors, but it's a beautiful finishing powder that literally snatches your face to perfection. And I like using this, you guys see? It gave me that instant like eight hours of sleep. Now what's better than one male makeup artist is two. So I'm gonna take Patrick Ta and, and kick it up with a little bit of Manny's Lunar Beauty Blush Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and take Stargaze, which is this pink right here. And just add that on top. Yeah, that's the blush combo that I wanted. When I tell you, I am obsessed with this eye pencil by One Size Busty Brown. I have them and they are so small. This is the brown color. It's the most perfect brown. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line the outer part of my eyes. Don't forget to smoke it out. All right guys, a little brow gel ain't never hurt nobody, so go for it. You see this before? After, she's a little dusty. All right guys, last but not least is the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Il Maquillage Carly Bible Lip Liner in the color red, and also Dragon Blood by Dragon Beauty and smack this all over my lips. Okay, so last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Dragon Beauty setting spray. It's called Forever Fantasy and spray my face to set it and lock it all in. Okay, let's change. I'm back. <laughs> All right, everyone, this is the finished tutorial. Peter just said I look like a Delaga, a Filipino classy lady. And wow, we singing the holiday special. I'll take it as a compliment, Peter. I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful, nostalgic look. My wing liner red lip that I felt changed my life. I hope you guys are encouraged to start beauty, be creative. And just remember, I love you. I support you. I believe in you. Don't forget, makeup is a one size fits all. If you tried this look, tag me. Subscribe to this channel. I love you guys so much. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.